going to look at module two. So by clicking on the solver button, let me get that arrow out of the way, by clicking on Care of the multiplication for me. Now, in order to solve a quadratic equation, the equation must equal zero, and so um, I'm going to subtract from both sides. I'm going to subtract 47,533.3. One side of the equation equal to zero. Now that that's equal to zero, I can use the quadratic formula, which if I go under the transform menu, I can click apply the quadratic formula. And you can see it says, we use quadratic formula for equations, quadratic equations of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. And so a corresponds with the term in front of the squared variable. And so for me, that would be 6.28. b is the value in front of the single variable. So I'm going to put uh, 1,456.96. And c is the constant term. And so mine is negative. So I'm going to type in negative 47,533.32. And so now you can see the quadratic formula um, is listed. And so it says negative b. So I have b, which is 1456.96. So I need negative 1456.96. Under the square root, I have b squared minus 4ac. And so b was 1456.96 and I need to square that minus 4 times a and in this case a a right here is 6.28 times c in this case c is negative 1456.96 
47,533.32. And that's all over 2 times A. So 2 times, and then A again is 6.28. And I'm going to press Enter. And so that puts uh, all the values into the quadratic formula. And again, I'm going to just go under simplify and I'm going to completely simplify. And so when solving quadratic equations, a lot of times we're going to get two answers. And so I have r equals negative 116 plus or minus 145. So to find the two answers for r, I'm going to press separate the roots. And so it slips or it's, uh, splits this up into negative 116 plus 145, which if I completely simplify, I get 29. And clicking on the second root, if I completely simplify, I get negative 261. Now the fact that we get a positive answer and a negative answer, dealing with a radius, we want the positive radius of 29. And so uh, going back to our table, I was now able, able to figure out a cylinder with a height of 232 and a surface area of 47,533.32 that gave us a radius or that's going to have a radius of 29 millimeters. And so I can then go through and figure out the rest of my table. The circumference is 2 times pi 3.14 times the radius of 29. The area of the base, so that's going to be pi r squared, so 3.14 times our radius of 29 squared. And then the area of the rectangular curved surface, again that's the lateral area, uh, the second portion of the surface area formula. So 2 times 3.14 times 29, that's the circumference, times the height, which was 232. I could have also obtained this same calculation by doing 232, the height, times the circumference, which we already had.